Greetings and salutations, young true believers. So today we're talking about purposes, well, definitions and purposes of definitions, right? So, purposes of definitions. The first purpose of a definition is what's called a lexical definition, uh, and that is simply to tell you what a given word means, right? So, uh, the example that's contained in our text, tamarind noun, a small forest dwelling South American monkey of the marmoset family, typically brightly colored and with tufts and crests of hair around the face and neck. So that's a lexical definition. You want that kind of definition, you consult a dictionary, right? Then there are what are known as precising or stipulative definitions. So for any of you who are thinking about being a business major, you're gonna encounter these kind of definitions quite a bit. So let's say you're, you're drawing up a contract between an American a Canadian and an Australian firm, right? So you got these three firms, three different countries. The currency in all three nations is called dollars, right? So what you need is a precising definition, something like this in your contract. For purposes of this contract, we will uh, use the term dollars to refer to Canadian dollars. That's a precising or a stipulative definition. And then there's one that we're going to see a lot more, especially when we get to the chapter on rhetoric. Rhetoric, remember, is the uh, use of the emotional aspects of language, right? And that is the rhetorical definition. So about 25, 30 years ago, Rush Limbaugh was asked to define the term feminist. And Rush Limbaugh, in case you don't know, is a conservative pundit. Uh, has written several books, was just recently given a, a medal, a U.S. Medal of Freedom uh, award by uh, President Trump. So he was asked to define feminist, and he said, quote, A feminazi is a woman whose goal in life is to see to it that as many abortions as possible are performed. That is what is known. That's a prime example, gang, of a rhetorical definition. What's a rhetorical definition? It's a definition that is not designed to inform you as to the meaning of a word, but rather designed to elicit an emotional response on your behalf, right? To, to prejudice the case against something, right? So be aware of rhetorical definitions. Kinds of definitions. So I don't, Moran Parker uh, mixed this up a little bit, but that, that's fine. So there is Definition by example, or what's also known as ostensive definition. If you ask me, Professor Blunas, what are sunglasses? And I went, that's ostensive definition. Definition by pro uh, providing an example. Sometimes you can define a word simply by pointing at it, right? What's a hooded sweatshirt? Ostensive definition. Definition by synonym. This is obviously exactly what it sounds like you you. Try, you define a word by providing a word, another word that sounds, uh, that obviously sounds different from the first word, but has the same meaning. So fastidious means the same as fussy. Pulsatile means throbbing. Lubricious is slippery. Copacetic, mutually agreeable. Uh, egregious, that means very, uh, very frustrating or it makes you very angry, right? So definition by synonym. Analytical definition specifies the features a thing must possess in order for the term being uh, defined to apply to it. And philosophers use these kind of definitions a lot, right? So for example, a samovar is an urn that has a spigot and is used especially in Russia to boil water for tea, right? Uh, and obviously you can see that, that analytical definitions are a species, right? of lexical definitions. Now, this is good, they've included this, and I wanna talk about this uh, as well as on page 77 of the 12th edition. I spent three or four years of my life and 160 pages trying to define one word, objectivity. Plato spent 170 pages and who knows how many years of his life trying to define one word, justice, and that was in his book, The Republic, right? Um, the work I wrote was my dissertation in philosophy, obviously. Um, there are some words that, uh, some concepts that just do not admit of easy definition. 
uh, the philosopher Heather Douglas, University of Toronto, um, she refers to concepts like the good life, justice, objectivity, right, as essentially contested concepts, meaning the exact definition of these terms uh, is not fixed. It's they are it, the exact definition is highly contentious or does, simply doesn't exist, and philosophers and historians et cetera, will, will be debating what these words mean for quite some time, right? So just be aware that um, you know if you if you're ever asked to you know define justice, you're not going to be going home early. All right, gang. So next week we will be talking about, and as a matter of fact. I'd like to take some time to introduce this next chapter. Chapter four is on credibility, and this may well be the most important chapter in the entire uh, course because what we're going to be examining is in that in that chapter is not just the credibility of claims. Of course, that's extremely important. We're going to be examining the credibility of sources as well. So, uh, read up. Um, and let me know if you need any assistance with your first essay assignment, and I will see you on Monday.